Welcome back to Wave of Docker. Got another Docker reviews for you. I just saw Alien Romulus in IMAX, and wow. Just wow. Um, I had my video talking about um, the Alien franchise a few weeks ago. I watched all previous six movies to catch up and get ready for this film just because I saw the trailer, I saw the promotional stuff for it, like some of the art. Um, I was like, yeah, I need to see this movie. So I watched all six of the Alien movies. I love them. I already did my rankings. Like I think I said like Alien, Covenant, Prometheus, Aliens, Alien 3, Resurrection, whatever. Romulus. I don't know where it fits in. I'll have to watch it again. I probably will watch it again because this was a fantastic theater experience. But man, yeah, this movie was fantastic. I think it lived up to all the hype that um, I was feeling at least. Like, as soon as I started like tapping in and like getting into it on like Twitter, just like my excitement for it, like my feed just became um, Alien Romulus stuff and like people talking about it. And I just got like more and more like my attention for it just built up to, I wouldn't say like an insane plane or anything like that, but I was very excited for this movie and I think it definitely lived up to the hype. Um, yeah, I mean, Kaylee Spaney as Rain definitely steals the show and David Johnson as well, who played Andy. Those two are, I mean, obviously, you know, like they're the siblings, like, you know, the synthetic, but I mean, those two are what makes this movie work and I thought they were both fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the cast just real quick, just so I can have some names to throw out there. But yeah, I mean, I thought this, I, I mean, honestly, if I had to think about it, if I had to like place it into the alien hierarchy, I mean, I honestly like it more than aliens. Is that crazy to say? Like, I see a lot of people, and I, I'm surprised, like, I'm surprised how many people, like, after, you know, getting into the alien fandom a little bit on Twitter, like, I'm surprised to see how many people didn't really like Ridley Scott's recent sequels or prequels with Prometheus and Covenant because I thought those were two of the stronger ones um just because I really like how modern sci-fi can look with all the effects like I love practical effects but you know movies like the recent Star Wars movies and you know like the recent Star Trek movies like I, I really like how clean and slick modern sci-fi can look with with CGI and I thought those movies were great and Romulus is no um stranger to that I thought the CGI was fantastic uh Fed Alvarez I think his name is uh, the director that's how you pronounce it. Um, I thought he knocked it out of the park, you know, first introduction into the Alien franchise. The first, like, true horror director to tackle an Alien film, and I thought he did a great job. I was, I was just blown away. And before watching it, like, there was a lot of, like, people being like, there was a scene where that was so gross that people had to take a break and, like, go outside. I, like, I don't really feel like that the movie had very many of those scenes. And I guess maybe just because I've watched all the Alien movies over the past few weeks and just kind of bracing myself. And I'm trying to ease my way into the horror genre just so I can, you know, open my way into more films because I've never really been like a scary movie guy. I've always been kind of jittery and jumpy and I stuff lingers with me for a while. But the Alien movies didn't really do that to me. Just, I guess, like science fiction and knowing that it's like fake doesn't really impact me as much. Like true crime, I, I can't stand true crime just because I know it happened. Um... But then again, I watched Zodiac, and I was fine with it, and Long Legs, while being, like, a little bit um, abnormal, is still, like, relatively in that realistic frame. That didn't really mess me up that I watched. Like, I think I'm getting better at watching horror movies, and this was... I mean, honestly, there were a few jump scare moments, but I didn't really feel... I didn't really jump. Like, there was, like, one moment in Long Legs, I remember, where I was, like, I genuinely yelped. But in this movie, I was just kind of, like... It, it's it's just kind of like this. Like, you're just kind of, like, bracing for it. And Fed Alvarez did a great job of building up that tension. Like, the scene... Um, where they turn the body, the, the temperature of the room up, so um, the face huggers don't sense them, and they had to like walk through uh, silently, and then like this like dead body just like boom, like falls down, um, and then the whole thing in the end with um, let's see, let me pull it up. What's her name? Because like the other names of the characters that aren't really significant, like there's like Tyler or there's Rain and Andy. Those are the two main characters, you know, uh, Kaylee Spaney and David Johnson, and there's Tyler, and then there's Bjorn, Navarro, and then what's the other chick's name? <sighs> of course it's not. Tell it. Yeah, her name is the only one that's like not showing up on the thing. Does she even have a name? Let's see if IMDb has something, something to say about it. Um. Let's see. K, that's her name. The pregnant lady who had the crazy looking um, human uh alien thing who's played by robert bobrowski who i think is that basketball player 
who, let's see. Yeah, 7-on-7 seven, seven high school basketball player. He played the human alien, which I think was like a lot, like 10 million times more horrifying to look at and just kind of experience in the film than that weird hybrid thing in Resurrection. Resurrection is my least favorite. I really did not like that movie. Um, it was just all over the place. But I mean, that human xenomorph thing was very yucky, like that flesh xenomorph. But this human like fusion thing was like all the more like, oh my God, that's insane. And there is a jump scare with him towards the end when um, Rain like uses the acid to go through the ship and then she's like hanging onto the rope. And then like the thing just like comes up and is like, <laughs> I think that might have been the jump scare people were talking about, but that didn't really get me that much. But just the tension in this film was fantastic. I think, like, honestly, it is, like, people said it's, like, The Force Awakens to the Alien franchise, and I can definitely see that, just with all the homages, with the Ian Holm deep fake weird thing. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse than it was. Uh, granted, um, like, I'm not, like, a... I understand the ethics of it, and I, I'm sure that his family like signed off on that but i think it was it was all it was perfect it was fantastic like i think it worked really well albeit it looked a little weird like i, I don't think any deep fakes have looked relatively normal like luke and the mandalorian like leia and rogue one um they didn't use it um if they'd use it like more i think it would have been like all right you're pushing it a little bit like let rook be a dead character let him be you know his own thing like don't make him like this significant part of the film but it was great. Like, I enjoyed it. I think it worked for the film up until he said the exact line that he said before he died in the first one, where it's like, um, I can't speak on your chances, but you have my sympathy. Like, that's like the exact same thing he said in Alien. All right, come on. Like, and also Andy's line of saying, like, Just get away from her, you bitch. Like, I, I think I've, I think I vocally said, like, all right, like during the film, I was like, come on. Like, those are my two, honestly. The two weak points that I can point out in this film are just the blatant direct quotations of the previous films. And those are the two that stuck out the most to me. I'm sure there's more, but I think it just speaks to how well they fit into the film that I that they didn't stand out. But like, stay away from her, you bitch, is like Ripley's most iconic line from Aliens and arguably like her most iconic line from the first, from any of her films, honestly. Like that's like, her line that's like the scene in aliens but and then rook's dying words in alien or dying words are i can't say anything about your chances but you have my sympathies like those are like two significant moments from both those characters but to bring them back is like all right like settle down a little bit but overall like i thought this film was fantastic um k's scream or i just had the actress pulled up but her scream when navarro had the chest burster dude i was like oh my god what a fantastic, like, that's, like, that, she just, she nailed that moment of, like, seeing a friend of yours have an alien pop through her chest. And just, like, that sound design of, like, the was awesome. Like, I thought that was, just, they just did such a good job. And, they, like, the, like, Fed Alvarez just nailed the feel of this film. Like, he just had such a great, I don't know, I think he just did such a great job. And, like I said, like, I am a fan of these movies, so the fan service isn't really like draining on me. Like I'm not like, all right, come on. Like I'm, I'm, I'm someone that enjoys fan service. I, I'm not a big fan of cameos as much anymore, but I'm a fan of like The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens is probably my third favorite or fourth favorite Star Wars film because it has like that good balance of fan service and also new stuff. Like I just really enjoyed, like Force Awakens is beat for beat, A New Hope practically. And then um, Romulus is relatively beat for beat alien but i enjoyed it i thought it was great uh, all the performances were fantastic like once again a synthetic steals the show like you could do like michael fassbender michael fassbender's david is like probably the best character in the entire franchise besides maybe ripley and i think i mean honestly i'd like to see another film from fed alvarez or just a sequel following these characters like following andy and rain because these characters are great Fed Alvarez just has a really neat grasp of this universe and how to tell a story with these characters and this, you know, with the xenomorphs. And was this the first time that they said xenomorph in any of the movies? Like, I feel like I, I heard Ian Holm, I heard Rook say xenomorph, and I was like, I feel like I haven't heard anybody else say that in these films. Maybe they say it in Resurrection, but I just kind of blanked out it because I don't like that film, but I feel like it was just really funny to hear 
xenomorph for the first time in the films but maybe i'm just making that up maybe i've heard it before but all in all i really really enjoyed this film uh, i came out of it like kind of like whew, like still coming down from the high of um just the intensity of that film i, I don't know i thought it was i thought it was fantastic uh check it out i honestly don't think you need to watch any of the other alien films to really enjoy this film um and honestly like the fan service stuff won't be lost on you because it's not like like all like the quotes and stuff like it's not going to be like oh what is that like you can you can enjoy this film without seeing the rest of them and that's my stamp of approval for a good film for a good sequel for a good part of a cinematic universe if you can see it without needing the rest of it like that's why i think the mcu is kind of in a weird spot right now where you like you kind of need to watch the disney plus shows that's a whole other tangent alien romulus fantastic check it out i love alien movies i'm probably gonna go see it again in imax just because it looked fantastic i was like road j seat 11 just right here seeing seeing all that it was awesome watch it alien romulus thumbs up peace out